Hello everyone and welcome back to Efraín Rodríguez Jr. show. In today's episode, I I go by this lake every every time I go to the hardware store. So I decided to stop, take a picture, and this is from today. That's why the sun it looks kind of different because it comes from the east. And it's in the morning, so that's why it looks different. And even the the tower, the tower, it looks a little bit, a little bulky in, in this angle. I got other pictures at the afternoon, so I might put it. But I kind of like this one. It kind of the, the sparkling water. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. That's our lake here in Villalba, Puerto Rico. I'm going to the Howard store. I hear the news. The radio, the music. The trending on the positive cases of COVID-19 in Puerto Rico, it's around roughly around 15%. Around that, around that close, close, getting close to 15%. And now we have this weekend coming and most, a lot of people used to go to, you know, to, to, uh, they go out instead of going to church, they go out and party. That's the trending that is happening also. So I was listening to the radio and I was like, why this people on the radio are putting this in a way that it, 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 for, to me, it sounds like a, it's scary. So like, uh, like it was going back up in the, in the big way. And as you guys know, I have a couple shows about this uh, going into the health department of Puerto Rico, salud.gov. And I like to do that, my numbers based on what they have. I don't like to come here and start guessing. You know, I can probably create a different show for that. I'm not a comedian, so some comedians, just certain things. I like to bring the closest that we have to reality in the island. And I like to compare. And if, in my opinion, it sounds like a, a comedy show, it's the way they're running in the island, this thing. So you be the judge of that. Actually, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I recommend you to do this. It's very, very important to subscribe to this channel, to hit the bell, because I don't know at what time I'm going to be putting this live on the Efraín Rodríguez Jr. show channel. So hit the bell. I'm going to bring this uh, da daily mo Monday through Saturday. Normally do. And I sometimes do a specials on Sundays, depend on the occasion. So let's get into why I hear it on the radio something that it sounds more scary and I wanted to show you and I wanted to tell you the numbers that I have that I've been collecting that I've been doing the math myself I'm not a mathematician I did went to school and I had a degree in civil engineer but you know it's not like I'm a professor and mathematicians I do have a little knowledge and the past I consult my uncle he is a teacher but all that that I just waste here a minute it's just simple math the way I like to show it and to tell you about it so what I'm going to bring now is in the back is this website of the Department of Health I just want to go uh, over a couple things, you know. Uh, we have uh, this; they do this daily. It's awesome. They do a good job. The numbers are not right, but they do a good job showing what they show, you know. But you know how the government works. If you don't know that by now, you wake up. They can really miss some number here and there. CDC did that reporting uh the death and they just find out around 70,000 
people that just survived and they were dead. But, you know, it's the way it is. Sometimes uh, some numbers can get misplaced. So what I have in the back is the actualization, daily actualization. What I love doing this is based on, actually, let me go down here. I just want to show you. These numbers are awesome. You know, in Puerto Rico, does it better. Already 95.9% already people that are inoculated. They're beep, beep, bat, bat, zoom, you know, jab already. And um, people uh, five years or more, uh, 86%. This is high. This These numbers are high. And what I like to do always with this numbers and the statistics they always show I love going into the death yes I wanna the function and meaning uh, death you know throughout the whole pandemic we already have 4184 they show here and this is wrong uh, daily death ratio one that's wrong and over there brrr, over there they show boops yes uh five uh today so what what i'm capable of saying it's wrong is because it's a math uh problem and when i explain to you you probably you know can't do it yourself we already have 757 757 good number to play on the maybe Pega 3 757 days since the moment that the pandemic started I know in Puerto Rico we lift up many things uh, the governor did that and we kind of back into normal a lot of people you know, uh, still wearing the mask and protecting their self. It's nothing wrong with that, you know. But what I'm saying in here, it in 757 days, 4,182 deaths. The, the daily ratio is 5.52. So just to tell you this number here, it's it's wrong. And I've been telling them they got to get the number together, but they probably have people that know about medicine, but they don't know about numbers. So, hey, listen, it's okay. I'm not going to go into to, to a hospital to tell the doctor how to do things. I can go to a job site and tell people, yeah, you're not supposed to be doing that in that way. It's, it's not my field. So I stay in my field. What I can point out is the numbers here completely wrong. Okay, so there's another uh, chart that I want to show you here that I use this because this is a two, 2022 Puerto Rico population pyramid since 1950 till now. And we rough, roughly have 2.8 2.8 million people in the island now the numbers they're showing is kind of different i went to a different uh site and this is a different place and also uh, population actual population here it shows 2.887481 very 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 similar to the other chart here so what i like here is if you see this the the, the numbers here they have this by ages the only problem they don't have it is by each 10 years so they got it by from zero to four so one five to nine blah 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 so i took my time and i went one by one and i add the numbers of that population and i got three different groups i divided in three different groups one group from zero to 19 years we have 
602,097 in that group. On the group from 20 to 60, and that's the group of people that do the work and, and uh, the workforce, I call it, we have 1,418,439. So that group, we have them that many and and the retirements ones i don't know there's some people retire at 60 believe it or not from 60 to 100 we had that group 807,743 so with all those numbers bringing it here let's just go back to the department of health and i like to show always this uh chart here actually they did a very very good job uh doing this whoever did this i got an a plus from me but once again what i hear on the radio when i see it on the news the trending and the talking points are more to scare people up that what is in the reality and, and that's what I want to show you reality and you and you be the judge of that. I say this protect yourself as most of you can protect and you know clean your hands and do all the CDC the recommendations. You know, don't don't step, don't don't put your 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 your, your guards down because you know if you get it, then you know you're gonna go through a tough time. But even that I had a video before. That I even I think a, one of my first videos on TikTok was about that because I was telling uh, um, Dr. Fauci that he needs to come in Puerto Rico because what I find out on the numbers that that ratio on the population we are strong. Superman, he's a baby compared to us Puerto Ricans. I'm not saying this lightly. Because I know I've been going into newspapers, giving my comments, and I know people get upset because, you know, when I say the population up zero to nine to, uh, to 19, only nine kids die. I get people that, that tell me, you know, you tell that to the parents. I know, but what we are doing in the island and the person that it governs this group of people, it needs uh, to be for the people and not just for this in reality <clears throat> number that it's very, it's kind of banished if you compare it to the population in those groups. So here, you know, we had since the last time I did the video with the sun increase but it actually went up more into the 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 ages from 60 to 100 so <clears throat> let me run down some numbers for you i know when they do the charts here they show you per 100,000 and when you show per 100,000 i'm going to show you per 100 people it's a big difference when you show per 100,000, we only three, three um, close to 3 million people. So it's, it's a big difference when, when it, the zero goes to the right or to the left. <clears throat> and that can make something for the average people. They don't know this, like it's a, it's a higher number. What I noticed here on the percentage, they have the death and 17%, 34%, and the ages. They did it based, you know, on the data they have per the 4,182 dead. So, you know, they kind of like figured the numbers there. And even, even if I see with my eyes, uh, they have some mistakes. I can, I can point that out to you if you want to go there and take a look and you be the judge of that fine 
what I wanna what I wanna talk about is the three groups. Zero to not 19, only nine death. I mentioned it before. In that group, <clears throat> we have 0. 0.0014 percentage per 100 people death ratio in those 757 days. Understand? You know, you know what I'm coming from with this? So in the second group, 20 to 59 years, we have 0 0.061. In that group, we have 878 death in this 757 days. On the last group, that's the group that is really beating hit hard. But remember that group is 807,743. We have 3,295 death. The percentage in that group, it's 0 0.407. That it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's worries, worries a lot of people because you don't want to go away with something that really, uh, you get to this gold ages and you to retire and say, you're done, you're gone. See you next in the next life. And it's tough. It's tough for that group. But even then that group, it is 0 0.407. So when I'm looking at this, uh, charts and I'm looking at, uh, this, uh, actualization from the department of health and I hear the radio, I tell, I tell myself, I, I can't understand this, but, uh, they, they go bit based on. The numbers there are, oh, this is another one, uh, pre preliminares, I think this, actually I, I was an eje ejecutivo, but yeah, right here. So here, what I hear on the radio, oh, we are six, actually it's a little bit higher than what I just mentioned earlier, 16.79, you know, the, it's people that it has copy, but all I'm saying from the get go is like when you talk on the radio, when you had a platform and people listens to you, people get wary, people get scared. And why they don't tell people that in reality, we are stronger than the COVID because the numbers shows that. All, all I'm saying is that I'm not, I not want to take, uh, from, from the department of health and everything they're done and they want to prevent, uh, many different things. I understand that, you know, but when you had the power of telling people something like now I had this power of telling people through, through this mic, I just. I don't like when people, it, it treats me in a way that if the system helped me to get some knowledge, why you are treating me when I see the data as I'm a stupid or a moron, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to get offended, but tell people the truth and yes keep your arms up you know when you get into a car what do you do put the seat belt you know and when you go out to party this weekend on saturday you know just don't drink and drive there's so many, so many different things you know you go to the lake you're gonna swim please put this life best or if you're on, on swimming, uh, now they're going to have this, um, 
the currents on the on the ocean be aware don't get too deep maybe you get sucked in maybe you're not uh healthy enough to get away from those currents all i'm saying is teach people tell people you know we got this be careful you're gonna have sex you know stds uh so protect yourself don't do it that's the best protection ever you don't know that person you don't know what that person being with whatever just saying it is a good thing to tell people but when you see this radios and i know m myself on this channel i just getting started in puerto rico getting involved since january with this uh boys through here fine i know a lot of people are not listening to me yet and some of those that are listening maybe don't get this far into the video that's why i try to keep it under 20 to get to know what the guy's gonna say what is in his head or whatever his opinion you know what he doesn't care if you get it into the point that you're trying to tell a person you know there are certain things why are you doing this other thing it's it's hypocritical and i want to call that out you know don't scare people you know because it's not right tell people the truth easy i just went today came here i was thinking you know what went to the newspaper say you know what let me just do a, a brief on this and leave it up to you guys to share with other people and just you know be careful be careful out there you know especially you know with this this situation is coming on the weekends and everything else but don't don't lie to people especially on the radio i don't i don't want to mention names of, of but it was like three different stations that were saying about the same thing we right now it's like you you really brainwash all Puerto Ricans and that's messed up <laughs> I really think that movie of the matrix we are living in the matrix right now I don't know which pill to take back in just to get in into the matrix but I see it in a different way I want to show it to you I want to present it to you you be the Josh of that Thank you so much for listening to this small video. If you like it, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends and family. I'll see you back tomorrow. And tell me a comment about this uh, beautiful picture that actually the phone didn't did a bad job. I guess you got an okay, Efrain. Thank you once again and i'll see you back tomorrow god bless you with you today you know we'll be back tomorrow efrain rodriguez jr and efrain rodriguez jr show take care